Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see uh, one more concept in R programming that is uh, functions. And these functions are usually known as, we can call them as a procedures, modules, or we can also call it as a modules. So this process, we call it as a modular approach modular approach so actually these functions are nothing but a simple piece of code which makes the code reusability that means if we want to execute the same set of statements multiple times somewhere else so in order to rewrite the statements once again we can create a small function and we can continuously we can call that function repeatedly whenever we require so that's why the main purpose of using this function is code reusability code reusability so one only one time we'll write and multiple times we can use that particular function example for example so we are having a lot of built-in functions built-in functions so like print function so we are not writing any code okay we are not writing any code just we are using this particular print function so that whatever the content we are giving here that will be printed on the output screen right so multiple times in the same program we are using multiple times similarly we can use a cat function also we have used this cat function this is also an output function and similarly there are a few more functions like sequence so in order to find the sequence, in order to give the sequential values, we can go with the sequence. In order to find the minimum or maximum, so we are having a fun uh, function called min and max. So this will return the minimum value from the given list of elements and it will this max function will give the maximum value from the list of elements. So for that we are not writing any code, just we are writing this particular function and the, the code is available in somewhere else. Okay, the code will be available in somewhere else. So similarly, we can also write our own functions, those we call it as a user defined functions. User defined functions. So these user defined functions were written by the user and well, only once we will write the program, and we can repeatedly call that function multiple times whenever it is required. So one is code reusability and also by going with this modular approach, okay, so complexity will be reduced. The complexity, code complexity will be reduced. Code complexity will also be reduced. So a complex problem can be divided into different modules. We call them as a functions. And later we can integrate all those functions. Right? So and complexity will be reduced and easy debugging. Easy debugging. So let us consider any complex problem. If you are having any error, so if the code is not working. It is difficult to find out the error where actually it, it occurs, right? So when you go with this modular approach, whenever the error came, so you can go with the particular module where you got the error, right? So the automatically the e debugging process is easy. That means identifying the errors and rectifying those errors. We call them as a debugging. So that process will become much easier in writing a function. So a function is also a piece of code, is also a piece of code. That means a set of statements that perform a specific task. Okay, set of functions that specific task. Okay, function, set of statements. We can define a function as set of statements that performs a specific task with a code reusability with a code reusability right this is also a function now there are two categories as we discussed built-in functions 
so which are already available in our programming so directly we can make use of those functions you know i mean instead of writing the complete code we can use these functions and another one is a user defined functions so user defined functions are the functions written by the user okay so coming to the user defined functions there will be a function name function name the four things will be there function name arguments uh, and return function body so these four things should be filled by the user right so now we'll see what are these things what is a function name what is a function uh, body and what is the return statement and what is the arguments coming to the function name so every user defined function will be having a user i mean it will be having the function name which specifies the functionality okay so user defined name user defined name and we can also call it as a identifier identifier so which identifies the memory location okay this is also a memory location so which will identify the memory location so we need to follow the rules in our first sessions we have seen the rules to be followed by giving a name for any variable right any identifier the same thing should be happens here and we have to call that particular function with the help of this particular function name so without giving the function name we can't access the function so every user defined function should have the function name which gives the functionality which shows the functionality and the second one arguments arguments are the inputs arguments are the inputs given to the function arguments are the inputs given to the function and these are optional it's not necessary it's not a mandatory to give the arguments to the function so we can take the arguments i mean we can take the inputs inside the function also so we can pass the arguments or inputs from the function call to the function definition otherwise we can take the inputs in, inside the function also right now the third one is a return so this is a control or value return control or a value return so once the complete function user defined function is being executed the result of this particular function either it can be a value or just a control that should be sent back to the function call so this will be the last statement this will be the last statement being executed inside the function this is the last statement okay and the last one is a function body function body so this is a place where we have to write a set of instructions this is a place where we have to write set of instructions okay the actual logic so the actual logic to be implemented that should be written inside the function body so if you want to write any user defined function these four things are important so every user defined function should have the function name and every user i mean the user defined function may or may not have the arguments and the user defined function definitely will return a control or any value to the calling function and function body for every user defined function there will be some set of statements which are going to be executed should be written inside this function body so coming to the built in function just we are using these function calls okay so we are not writing any explicit code to find the minimum value or maximum value so just we are using this function automatically we are getting the value because of the code written somewhere else okay the code will be available somewhere else and just we are calling that particular function 
Similarly, we have to write the code here and we can call the function somewhere else. Okay, so let us see the syntax of this particular function. Syntax of user defined function. So the first one is a function name and this is a function name is equal to every user defined function will start with the function keyword. So function okay and inside we can give the argument 1, argument 2 and so on and here we can write the function body that means statements so statement 1 statement 2 and so on and we can write here return so this is a syntax to define a user defined function okay and these are the optional and this is also optional here you can write return value or any expression any expression return value or expression so every function will return either value or expression or a control an, an empty control right so that's why we can go with this it's an optional so it's not necessary to write down the return function so we, we may or may not write the return statement so if you are not giving any return statement automatically the control will go back to the calling function right so this is the introduction to the functions concept in our next session we'll go in depth in deep and uh, we'll see uh, different examples we'll execute a small programs so uh, demonstrating this particular simple functions with arguments and without arguments and with returns and without returns for everything we'll see with an uh, example right executing in the r studio now we'll stop here so i hope you enjoyed the session and if you are having any doubts regarding this introduction so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much